Well, good Thursday afternoon. I can hardly make out our Portland sky cam today. I mean, look at all the rain that's still sitting on our camera, but it's not just the rain. It's also the fog. We are still pretty foggy ever since around two this morning, and it's partially thanks to our uh, temperature and dew point. Look at that temperature sitting at 44, and so is that dew point. That's a good indication, along with those very calm winds that we are dealing with some of the fog out there. And of course, we're still dealing with the rain, and the rain is only going to be picking up as we continue to go through the rest of our late afternoon satellite radar showing that we are already starting to see some mixing up to the uh, White Mountain areas, but that heavier rain will be coming more steadily as we go through the rest of the evening. So timing this out through Storm Tracker by around the three o'clock time frame when the kids are getting out of the school and going to the school bus and maybe you're picking them up. This is going to be the time that their boots are probably going to be all muddy and soaked. It's going to be one of those times, though, if you didn't prepare today, you have tomorrow again. It's going to feel a lot like we've kind of done this already. Spring showers are definitely among us. Storm Tracker pulling in heavier showers, more steady, and maybe even some rumbles of thunder as we go into early Friday morning as well. So, parents, just make sure that you and your kids are prepared for going to the school bus tomorrow when we're dealing with such heavy showers out there. Those showers do stay with us through most of our Friday, eventually giving way to a little bit more of a break, becoming more of a drizzle. But even as we go into our Saturday, a few isolated showers could be lingering around. Now, here's where things get a little complicated, right? Rainfall forecast. Looking at those amounts, we're looking at over an inch, maybe two inches falling. That's just the rain. This is areas that are already seeing some warmer temperatures. As we look at our eight day forecast, those are mild temperatures that we're dealing with. And then on top of those melting temperatures, because that's exactly what we're going to be seeing as lows drop down tonight, that's still going to be allowing that snow to continue to melt on top of the rain that's already falling. So all the snow that's up to the north eventually going to go into the rivers and the other waterways that could lead to some flooding. But as we continue to look through our highs, most of us are going to continue to melt. So flood watch is in effect for the northern counties. Carroll, Coas, we have Oxford, Franklin and Somerset counties going into effect on Friday at two in the morning all the way until the late evening hours because we're dealing with a snow melt. And then along the coast, we're dealing with some of the gusty winds out there as well. So that's going to make for another problem along the coast as high tides it's going to be coming in later into the evening hours, both tonight and for Friday. So you mix the winds and the rain and you get kind of this muddy mess that we're going to be dealing with. Some more serious impacts we'll be talking about when I come back, though. Listen, I don't like that recipe, <laughs> mixing <laughs> those things together. No. Mother Nature said, here, have all of it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll splash everything. All right. Emily, thank you.